Hey everyone, in this tutorial I want to address something that I've seen quite often in low poly, low fidelity art, and that's models that look like this. A lot of times I've seen models that are very blocky and very shiny like this. This is something a lot of beginners I think do, and I did this back when I first started because I didn't know how to fix it to make it look better. The first problem is in the materials, it's what's giving us this very plasticky shine to everything, and it's often a result of the principal BDSF like this one. Now to fix this what we need to do is maximize roughness and set specular to zero, or alternatively we can and simply replace the principal BDSF with a diffuse shader, and that'll give us the same result. Now to fix the blockiness. In directional lighting we can see we get these hard angular edges, and this is also an easy fix. So I'm going to go into edit mode, select everything, and then go into the mesh drop down here, then go down to shading, and then click shade smooth. And now, as you can see, the entire model has been smoothed out so that there are now no more hard edges. Now, I use this feature quite a lot, and I don't want to have to go through that menu every time. So to do this faster, what I've done is I've added auto smooth to my quick favorites menu. And to do that, all you gotta do is go back to smooth shading, right click it, and you can click on the option that says add to quick favorites, which you can access by pressing Q. Now there is a problem with setting an object the smooth shading is that is it may cause lighting issues at hard angles where blender is trying to smooth it out but the angular nature of it makes it hard to do so as you can see the smooth shading is just wreaking havoc on this subway car with smooth shading alone there is no way to explicitly define a hard or sharp edge at least without toggling a hidden option to enable it and that's where the auto smoothing feature comes in auto smoothing is a feature hidden in an object's data properties under the normals drop down and when i enable it you will see that there is an immediate improvement on the subway car this is because I've gone ahead and marked all the edges that should be sharp, and this fixes all the shading issues that the subway had. To mark down edges as sharp, you can do so from the edge menu by hitting Ctrl E and clicking Mark Sharp, and this will make the edge bright blue, indicating that it is now sharp. Auto smoothing must be on for sharps to do anything, and as for why auto smoothing is off for every object by default, I have no idea. Alternatively, if you don't want to explicitly mark every edge for sharpness, you can predefine specific angles to be automatically sharpened based off this slider here. This makes the auto smooth function a very good tool all around for both organic and hard edged modeling and can be used to improve models by adding sharp edges where they should be. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe or leave a comment telling me that you like this video. It's one of the only ways that I know that it's worth continuing. If you want to support what I do, you can support me on Ko-Fi or check out any of my other important links down below. But other than that, yeah, that's all I have to say. So see ya.